Aaron, obviously, as you know, it's leg day today. I need a strong pre-workout. You know, something like the classics of old. You know, your Jack 3Ds, your Craze, your Ultimate Orange. I want something like that. I've got something, and it's new to the market, actually. No, no. Well, it's the 1MROG by BPI Sports. There's no way that the FDA would allow that. <laughs> Hello there guys, and of course, welcome yourselves back in for yet again, and I will just have to say it right now, a very hyped pre-workout review. In fact, the hype storm over on our Instagram page is already kicking up. What have we got for them? We've got you guys 1MR, the OG formula by BPI Sports. It says here, brand new. Interesting, I actually feel like I've stepped into a time machine with this one, and if it can bring us those classic feels of old, I think every single person watching today will of course go out and purchase a tub of this stuff. It could be the special source. And we're gonna go through the usuals to determine whether it's worth your hard-earned cash. Taste, price, label, and most importantly, those real-world effects. Is it gonna be living up to that hype? With a lot of pressure on it right now. Like I say, things are really kicking off in the industry with this one. I'm excited, I hope you are too. Let's find out. If you can give us a thumbs up on this video, a comment down below, and of course your subscription, we can do our very best to keep helping you when it concerns your supplement choices for the future. Let's get into this special one and let's find out what it can truly do. And we're into that first segment, taste and mixability. The list important, especially when it considers high stimmers, but we like to cover it anyway, don't we? We do indeed, for you guys watching. Um, some of you, it's quite important, and you can get cracking pre-workouts that also taste really good. What's the flavour we've got? We've got the delicious sounding one, blue raspberry, and I say that because it's got some nice looking raspberries on the front. Yeah, a very classic flavour. I'm not actually too sure what flavours it came in back in the day, mm. but it also comes in two other flavours that we can see on the official website, and they are Fruit Punch, and sour gummy. So I probably would personally have chosen sour gummy. Yeah, what about so you? I would. But we're gonna keep an open and honest mind when it concerns this. I've got a lot to mask. Can it be done? Well, we've mixed them up. Not a lot of coloring going on there. Mixability does look solid. It is only around 13 grams per scoop. Very good, yeah. It looks suspicious. Any of those opaque, translucent-y ones? Suspicion has been aroused. <laughs> Let's see what you can do for our taste buds too. Mmm. Mmm, interesting. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Not traditional, typical blue raspberry. In fact, it does taste like a, a candy. It does. Doesn't it? It does, yeah. It reminds me of something specific, like a sweet from our childhood or something. Maybe you're bringing back memories from, from the early days, the OG formula. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I like it, it's very well done considering what's in the product. I've got no complaints and I don't think anyone else out there will have any. Just a nice sweet flavour and it normally means the other flavours will probably taste good as well. Yeah, it is nice. What I've, are you thinking? I've got, a, I think it's quite important as well guys in this flavour to have cold, cold water. Yeah. But anyway, three, two, one, eight, eight out of ten. Five. Ooh. In that realm. It's a good start to this review. Let's move into the price point. How's it gonna have the classic pricing point behind it as well? It's price time, god damn it. So how much are you gonna be paying for this OG formula? Well, you head over to the official website, bpisports.com, where you'll find this official 25 serving tub on there for $44.99, right? Absolutely, guys, and that is not a bad start. We have applied, or we've reached out to the guys at BPI to try and obtain a discount code, so if you're coming back to view it, it might be down in the comments below. We can't promise anything at this stage, but hopefully we can make it even cheaper for you. 
Now when you do the math, you, that's a true 25 servings, it will come in at just $1.80 per serving. And UK guys, for a pure translation across for the sake of it, a pound and 43 pence per serving. And you know the drill, we've got a consistent price and scale here where it compares pre-workout servings from across the entire world, where a five out of 10 is very obviously an average price point. This one, even without a discount code, slides itself very nicely indeed into a six out of 10 price point. So it is more affordable than your average pre-workout. And I've got to say, very surprised with the name behind it, the hype behind it, the label behind it, the full shebang of, at this stage of the game. It's a solid pricing segment. Let's move into the label now. All right, the exciting part, or one of the exciting parts, the label. Let's get into it. So 13.2 grams serving amount. Ooh, that's about right, about average, I'd say. Yeah, so first up, we have the pump matrix consisting of 9,625 milligrams. And I'll just stop here and say, we don't have full ingredient dosage transparency here, do we, Aaron? No, a proprietary blend for those new to the channel means that you get um, an, an amalgamation of ingredients and a total volume of all the said ingredients together rather than knowing each individual ingredient's dosage. It's often seen um, down in the industry because people like the clarification and the transparency of what's in their products. That being said, the reason sometimes companies do it is then they hide formulations from other companies that could indeed copy them. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is the only way it can be looked at from a potential positive standpoint. But let's get into the first one here. So first up, we've got beta alanine, and it should go from the highest dose to the lowest, shouldn't it? It should do indeed. Beta alanine in there for the beta tingle, the itchy fin as the pre kicks in. And of course, once you've taken it for a long enough period of time, it's gonna help with endurance. Nice. L-citrulline silicate is next. Which is in there, um, kind of like L-citrulline malate. It's a slightly delayed onset of a citrulline and nitric oxide production precursor in the body. It's going to help with nitric oxide and obviously pumps in the gym. Nice. Following that, we do actually just have pure L-citrulline and then L-arginine. Well, they're going to do very similar things. Again, raising nitric oxide, helping with blood flow, vascularity, nutrient delivery to the muscle cell and ultimately the pump. Nice. Then we have L-A-A-K-G. Yep, this is the salt of the arginine. It's going to last slightly longer in the bloodstream. Again, another way of boosting nitro oxide and another way of giving you more pumps. Nice. Betaine and hydrus is next. Jack of all trades, this one. Mostly there for endurance benefits, hydration benefits, pump benefits. It's even been shown to have focus benefits. Lovely. Wrapping off this one, L-tyrosine. For amino acid, uh, responsible for cognition and clarity and focus. So... We've done the math on what we would like to see the minimum dosages of these ingredients, and we're, we're coming up to a total of around 13,000 milligrams, which as you can see, means we are being shortchanged just a little bit with the 9,625 there. So something in there isn't dosed as we would want, but it's also not ridiculously far off. Yeah, so hopefully we're still getting some effect from bits and pieces in there. Just not ideal. Then we move down to the main one we're all after, the OG Energy Matrix, consisting of 575 milligrams. And first up, we have caffeine and hydrus. Yeah, your main stimulant, your energy there, the production time. Nice. Two amino. Oh, that's one of the ones, guys. And I don't know how they've done it, but that's your DMHA friends. A potent stimulant, a central nervous stimulant that's going to give you energy and focus and perhaps some euphoria. Nice. And... Um, yeah, there's more surprises to come, so don't worry, guys. Next up, we've got theobromine. Which is the ingredient in chocolate that dogs cannot digest. For us, though, it's going to give us a bit more stimulation and some mood elevation feels. Hell yeah. Then we've got geranium extract, stem and leaves. Interesting. Very, very interesting. It's Some argue it's the black market ingredient. It, it in older days, could be known as a DMAA friend. It's very hard to say what it's going to be. It's all about the sourcing, what parts of the plant it is, what it can truly do for us, 
will only be uh, found through the effects segment of this review. Absolutely, and paired up with that DMHA, we should be More, looking at some yeah, serious... serious euphoria and yeah. focus and power and energy. Lovely. Then we've got Garana Extract. Which is a, a similar type of caffeine, more energy, more stimulation. Nice. Similar can be said for Yerba Mate, right? Yeah, down the old Yahimbine style feels, fat burning effects, stimulatory effects, getting things moving. Nice. Then we got Shishandra 10 to 1 extract berry. Yeah, that's in there really as an amplification method for some of these stimulants. Really getting the body adapted to things, getting them moving. Nice. Then we got grapeseed extract. For blood flow and of course it's going to help get these stimulants around the body and into action as they should be. Nice. And that does actually wrap the label off. So, you know, we don't like the fact it's proprietary blend quite obviously, but it does look like it could hold some little hidden gems, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all on the stimulatory effect. People aren't buying this for the pumps. They're not going to be too upset that they've been shortchanged on L-citrulline, for example. They're here for the what the stims might be able to do. Can it bring us the OG feel? Let's find out. Right, how long has it been since we took it, Aaron? 35 minutes. What are we feeling? We're feeling the good vibes, the euphoric vibes. Highness is coming in. We're about to get on the bikes. Tell them the slogan. <laughs> on the bike, high as a kite. There we go, we're off the gym. Let's do it. <laughs> Keep you posted. We have, of course, landed, guys. The primary segment of any review, the effects of this stuff. It's what you're waiting for. We need to know, is this the real deal? Is it the OG? Well, let's start at the beginning. We often start about our true experiences as the pre-workout kicks in. And if beta alanine's in your product, it generally is the first thing you feel. What did we think to that? Yeah, so it's in here that we do not know the dose, unfortunately, and we didn't really feel it, did we? Which was quite surprising because it's not the biggest scoop in the world. No, no, so no beta alanine effects. Uh, if they are, they're like a two, three, four out of 10. It's low end, so if you hate beta alanine, which there's a fair amount of people that do, you'll enjoy this one. Now what comes in, and it's very important with these type of pre-workouts, be as sedentary, be as lazy as possible as it kicks in. Kick back, chill out, watch a bit of YouTube, watch a bit of our reviews. Just let the pre-workout take effect. And 35 to 45 minutes later, you know there is something giving you a helping hand. A sense of euphoria is definitely there. It's apparent, it's a highness feeling, and it's a feeling of let's get down the gym. It's time to take shit out on the weights, right? Absolutely, yeah. So. Like we said, with any illicit ones, give it the full potential to kick in because you don't want to be shortchanging yourself with the effects. Mm. We've said with the energy, it's actually surprisingly smooth because there's not a crazy amount of caffeine in here, is there? No, 250 milligrams it says on the back, so there's not too much in the way of um, an energy slap. It's a creeper, this yeah. pre-workout. It's not high sense of urgency at all, is it? No, but it comes in real nice and it's one of those ones that the harder you work, the harder it works with you. Mm. Heart rate is definitely upped throughout training, but you are training like an animalistic person. It gets you pushing hard, heavy, fast, the full works in this case. Yeah, it's just a feel-good experience, isn't it? And you guys might have clocked it by now, but yes, we do think there is a little bit of DMA. There's a little bit of something, something there. The pupils dilate, you get that Dialed in, serious focus. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a mood elevatory pre-workout, so therefore we, in truth, think perhaps it's a lesser efficient form of geranium. And if you know what we mean, you know what we mean. We're not gonna delve too far into it. We do believe the two amino is legit, clean, efficient, well-sourced, pure. Yeah, don't we? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's not going to blow your absolute head off. It's not like they're up there with the cracks, but considering it's come from a company like BPI and the label, like it surprised us. Very, very much worth that pricing point. Like I say, the deer, it, it's a stim junkie pre-workout. There's no denying that. It is 
I've just said it already, I'm gonna say it again, it's legitimate to amino. And yeah. that is very rare to see these days. Get your hands on it whilst it's about. It is, from a company like this, it's the real deal. Yeah. And that is what we would we will remember going forward. It's not so strong that it comes with a whole host of negatives. There are some negatives, however, I might as well touch on them Go now. On, tell them. Appetite suppression is very apparent. As as ultimately these negatives are what you expect. They come with the territory of the stim junkie pre-workout realms. There is a crash. After that 45 minute window, when it's kicked in, you've got about 90 minutes to crush things. And after that, you do feel tired. You do get a nasty come down. There's no way around that. And that could be down partially at least to the hard training it gets you doing, right? Yeah. Thus, the brain is spiked of energy and then it comes down. Thirsty, absolutely. And it comes with that classic dry, trachea, windpipe, mouth DMHA feel. Yeah. That makes you drink and drink and drink. But it's, 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 it's a solid pre-workout. I really did enjoy it. It's not uncontrollable. It's a controllable stim junkie experience. Yeah, yeah, it's the best you're gonna get without getting overboard with the negative effects. So yeah, if, if a productive gym session where you're dialed in and you've got a bit of euphoria about you, you're gonna be all over it. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. Yeah, the mental energy, the brain energy is five, six, seven hours long. Be careful taking it close to sleep because it does keep you up. The body, the physical body is what takes the sleep time. Yeah, definitely. So it's one of the, the most feel good stim junkie pre's that we've taken in recent memory, but it's not one of the strongest as such, but it's, it's stronger than we thought. For us, we enjoyed that. Mm. We liked that. We don't want something that's too strong nowadays. It's a happy medium. You get your cake and you eat it. I can see people doing 1.25 scoops of this and blowing your minds beyond, but that is not our recommendation by any stretch of the imagination. That must be said on tape. Yeah. Pumps? Pumps were solid. Surprisingly. But I, I think that's due to the volume, the intensity, the force, the power, the weight, everything gets you putting in. Endurance is there whilst it's there. Yeah, so obviously we disagree with the proprietary blend. We don't like the underdose, and you know, that goes without saying we don't like any of that, but we do like the real world effects, don't we? Yeah, it's just a brain awakening. It's a spiritual awakening. Yeah. Not much more can be said than that. Well worth the pricing point. If we get a discount code, don't forget it will be pinned to the top of the comments down below to make it even perhaps more affordable still. It's well worth the price point, even as is. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah, so we put it in the buyer category. It's, if you're okay with a proprietary blend and the negatives. And you're not a beginner. Yeah. It's for advanced users only. That's yeah. the truth. It's swimming somewhere around, it's not, it's more powerful than entry level, isn't it? It's swimming somewhere around the middle. Mid-range, stim junkie experience. Yeah. Get it whilst you can. Appreciate you all watching at home. And as always, of course, stay steamed. 1MR style.